Hi, kitty cats. Today is Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024, and this is your behind-the-scenes view into everything I'm thinking about this week. Now, last week I used a word coined by John Michael Greer, lenocracy, and it means governance by pimps. This idea has been on my mind for about a month because it fills a few gaps in my theory of identity. Now, admittedly, the word's a bit crass, but it is accurate. And before I explain it, I want to make clear I have the utmost respect for sex workers. Nothing I'm about to say is intended as an indictment. But when a client wants the services of a sex worker, he frequently will deal with a pimp instead. Typically, the pimp is unable to fulfill the needs of the client. The services the sex worker provides support not only her, but the pimp as well. The existence of a go-between dilutes the value of the services, because two people, instead of just one, need to be paid. Now, if the number of pimps increases, the value of the services is diluted further, and at some unknown threshold number of pimps, the sex worker cannot work enough to support them all. Now, Greer applies this concept to Western society, particularly the U.S. government, but I immediately saw its application in identity. We live in a society that wants to control us, to tell us what to do and who to be. Some of us are glad to have direction in our social environment. Some of us will cast off any attempt to chain us down. But some of us end up in a situation in which we deny everything we know about ourselves, brokering an identity through a pimp in the expectation it will serve the greater good. I believe this occurs very often in the transgender community, and my article this week tells my transition story in light of the lenocracy I set up to protect the world against, well, myself. I intend to post this article tomorrow on genderidentitytoday.com, and I hope you will check it out. Talk soon. Bye.